Okay, so I'm just having a bit of a look at 40 metres at the moment. And I was kind of curious, um, just to have a look at um, noise. Because lately, let me go off the station here. Now, as you can see, the beam's pointing at them. They're pretty strong. But have a look at my noise at the moment. And we're going to try something. I have no idea whether it's going to work or not. But I saw one the other day on the Raza uh, site, Facebook site, with one of their QRM kits. And I thought, well, I've got some chameleon ferrites. And I thought we might give them a go. Let me show you what they are. Right, so what you're looking at is a chameleon ferrite. It's a fairly long ferrite, um, obviously with um, connectors so that you could just uh, plug into your radio one end and uh, antenna back into that one there. So we're going to, right, so we're going to put this. Actually, I've got another one sitting here. I've got a few of these. We're going to put it in at the radio. And then we might even put one after the tuner and amplifier. Um, <laughs> might get that a little bit warm, I suppose. Uh, anyway. Not if we're running 400 watts, you should say. Righto, um, let's have a look. Let's plug it in. We've got about an S5 to 6 sitting there with preamp level 1. So let's just see if it makes any difference at all. Right, we're just having a bit of a look here. And at this stage, I would have to say the noise has possibly increased a little bit even <laughs> since we last looked at it. But um, no effect here and this is a, a straight ferrite. Now the QRM kit um, which I'm gonna have to make one of these up. Um, I've got the ferrite here which is no problems. Um, that's a it's a round um, and normally you get about a meter of coax and you just uh, obviously put um, 2PL259s and SO239 joiner uh, on there. But what we're gonna try is we're gonna put one off the end of the um, the tuner as well here. We're gonna really just see if we can just find out if there's a way to to use these uh, straight ferrites um, and how they you know vary in their performance to the uh, the round ones, um, obviously the round ones. Every time you bring that meter of coax around and you turn it through, uh, you're getting a little bit more um, attenuation through doing that. So that's why I was a little concerned as to whether these chameleon ones would actually work. I mean, they they look they're a great idea. Um, but you're probably not getting as, as much benefit as the um, QRM kits that are available that, you know, just, just from my basic knowledge, and that is very basic, by the way, I'm really just playing around tonight. Okay, so we've now got one on the, um, it's still sparking up a bit there, on the back of the antenna tuner. Now have a look at this. This is interesting. This is very interesting. That noise level has dropped down to, uh, you know, S3 to 4. So, you know, that sort of says a lot. Um, now we had very little when we put it, you know, on the back of the radio there, but on the back of the antenna tuner here, that has made quite a bit, um, a bit of change. Uh, so, interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, I'd like to do some tests on 80 metres as well. Um, what these are, I thought I'd just show you on the website here. Um, it's, um, it's made of five uh, sleeve beads, as you can read there, uh, mixed, uh, featuring 31 fer ferrite mix. Um, uh, probably not good for running through with the amplifiers, etc., um, as far as power, but for noise, yeah, look, um, interesting. But, um, you know, I had to run two of them to, um, to really get the, um, the benefit. I've got a few of these here, um, so we might fit a few of them around and just see, uh, see how it goes. But that is quite amazing just to see that sort of noise reduction so I can highly re recommend um, either you know going to the Raza site and ordering the QRM kit it's probably a lot cheaper doing that um, than it is to, um, to buy these in from the uh, from the US um, these are about $45 US but you know there's a few issues um, getting them over <clears throat> freight wise etc and uh, you know making sure that uh, they're in one piece but uh, although they do pack them very well so I'm sure that's not an issue so okay that's just a little um, test on QRM using a bit of ferrite, um, uh, you know, beads. <laughs> um, I'm a bit surprised because when I put the first one in, I thought, oh, well, this is useless. But the second one sort of changed my mind a bit. So maybe um, they do say here, if you can feed it at the antenna feed point or right behind the antenna tuner. Isn't that funny? When I put it right behind the radio, no noticeable difference. When I put it behind the antenna tuner, she... Um, made a few S points difference. Um, I could live with this noise. Um, now, the other thing too is, you know, um, with noise problems, 
try and you know find out where they're coming from, find out what the source of them are. That's <laughs> always trying to eliminate them versus ways to just cut them out. You know, obviously, um, I've got a few suspicions where um, we've gone through and done the check around the house, etc. But I'm going to need to go back to all our subboards and you know different connection boxes um, because you know there could be something literally dangerous that um, is causing an arc. Uh, that you know, we need to revisit. So we've been here seven years and the electricians <clears throat> excuse me, fitted all this stuff all those years ago. But it might be time just to go back and check, make sure there's no water, no condensation, no, you know, sort of um, no nothing. But uh, anyway, we'll have a look at that and just uh, suss out what's going on. But uh, that's, uh, that's definitely a surprise to me. I didn't expect to see quite that much um, attenuation of noise. Um, probably two or three S points, you know, if we have a look at that S meter there. I mean, that's, we were sort of sitting five to sevens, climbing to eights. Um, now we're sort of, you know, three to fives, I suppose. Amazing. All right, well, that's just a quick video on ferrites. Um, if anybody wants to know more about ferrites, don't talk to me. Um, I'm not an expert. I'm just having a play. But there are people out there that have been dealing with these QRM kits and really know their stuff. So um, this is really just a, uh, a video on something to say, well, hey, look, you know, um, I had some success, and that's great. Uh, but, um, you know, your problem may need a, a different solution. All right, 73s from VK3 Charlie Mike from Tangam, Balanga, Northeast Victoria. All the best.